Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll be work, uh, moving on to symbolic computation in Python. All right, let's get started. So Python has a package for symbolic computation called SymPy. Um, you can check out what SymPy is all about in this link. But basically, um, it allows us to compute um, like a bunch of different equations with different symbols mixed. And it does have uh, quite a comprehensive uh, way of solving equations as well. Um, yeah, so SymPy has been used in a wide range of other projects uh, applying symbolic computation techniques uh, to areas such as tensor al algebra, uh, quantum field theory, uh, and so forth, right? So uh, if you are like a math uh, major, I, I guess you might find this um, uh, really savvy, right? So uh, it's used to solve equations like here. And to be honest, I, am, I have no idea what those are. Anyway, <laughs> we'll get started. Right, so firstly, um, to solve uh, symbolic, uh, to do symbolic computation, um, what we did previously was to create a variable without declaring them beforehand, um, and then try to solve equations on the right-hand side. But as you have no as you would know by now, um, computation in Python using basic library is quite limited. So using sim, uh, sim, SymPy is very uh, useful to do so. However, uh, in SymPy, you do have to um, declare the variables uh, as symbols to begin with, and then you can use them as um, that they are variables as part of the equation. So here is... Uh, an example, Oop, let's move away from that. Okay. So what we're going to do is, all right, so we're going to use um, X and Y as our symbol in our equation uh, as here. And basically what our equation is, uh, Y equals X squared. Okay. Then it allows us to um, apply different um, mathematical operations like differentiation. Uh, with respect to y. So if you differentiate x squared, uh, then we're going to get uh, 2x. So you multiply it by uh, its exponent and then you reduce it by 1, right? So we get uh, 2 times x as displayed here. So as you can see, um, SymPy will uh, manage all of those um, uh, like differentiation, uh, later you'll see like integration and all sorts of um, symbolic computations uh, for us, right? So um, sometimes displaying formulas can be quite um, ugly, right? Especially uh, because it doesn't have like a nice uh, math uh, format output. Um, one of the uh, display options that SymPy provides is um, uh, using an environment called init session. So it tried to make uh, the output uh, equations to look nicer. Uh, so let's try that. So what? So I have already imported the init session. So what we do is init session, and this is a function. So don't forget the brackets. And what it does is within inside, it's going to start a SymPy console. Okay, so now what we can do is, uh, I'm not sure if the variables are loaded. Nope, it's not. So we need to redefine. So treat it as like you, re you have restarted the shell. So we uh, define X and Y, provide the relationship as an equation and differentiate um, the Y. So for our example, this is still the same because our output isn't really um, complex. But later, as we have more uh, complex equations, um, this can become really handy, right? <clears throat> so let's try to integrate as our example here. Uh, maybe let's uh, restart and do integration beforehand. And then we have uh, diff, and then uh, I have in imported integration already. Uh, so integrate, and then y, and 
using the Python default format, it's showing us x cubed divided by 3, but this is quite ugly. So what we can do is init session, and then uh, we have to redefine those symbols again, right? Uh, ta -da. And then we go integrate uh, y, then it's going to try to make this look a little bit nicer. So x cubed divided by 3. Um, yeah, I mean, if you prefer uh, the other output, then you know, you're most welcome to do so. But this is one way of trying to depict uh, the output uh, in a nicer format. Okay. Uh, so we can do some more differentiation and integration, uh, even, uh, even using the trick stuff. So uh, SimPy has its own uh, sine and cosine functions. So um, try not to mix it up with um, uh, NumPy's or even the math module sine and cosine because these are built specifically to work with the library. Okay, so we can try things like um, diff sine x, which gives us cosine. I have already imported sine and cosine here. Okay, uh, integrate uh, sine x is going to give us a negative cosine and so forth, right? So we can even try to integrate some complex one. Integrate sine x uh, to the power of 2. Oops, close the bracket, right? Then it's uh, uh, x divided by 2 minus this equation, right? So in, uh, in the SimPy console, this could look uh, easier to understand uh, instead of the, if we were outside, it would have been like x slash 2 minus bracket, uh, all of this divided by 2 or something like that, or even without the bracket, right? Because it's, it's not necessary. Yeah, so we can do a lot of stuff. So let's have a look at more um, other examples and how these can be used. So another thing uh, handy uh, through the SimPy um, a library is to find roots of polynomial. So it has a simpy.solvers library, it has a solve uh, function. And inside here, what you can do is pass in equations which you would like to solve. And if you don't specify anything, then it's going to uh, assume that this equation equals to zero and it's trying to find the root. Okay, um, so something like this, solve x squared, uh, plus 4x plus 3. And what this result is showing is that we have roots at x when it's negative 3 or negative 1. So if we plug in those numbers, uh, it's going to give us, uh, what, 9, uh, 12, minus 12. So that's negative 3 plus 3 is going to give us 0. So it has solved it. And if you plug in negative 1 in there, it's also going to give us 0. If you do have um, multiple uh, symbols inside an equation, you can specify um, uh, which uh, symbol you like to solve for. So for instance, uh, in this one, I can say solve for x in this uh, case is going to be the same. But if I have some other symbols, like say y, then uh, our output is going to be in terms of uh, x variable. Okay. So now we have multiple variables as mentioned before and what we want to do is um, differentiate or do some stuff uh, with respect to a specific symbol, right? Uh, here we go. So let's do uh, symbol again just in case. And what we want to do is define a function. So function is now that equation. Okay, so if we type f, it's going to show us sine squared x plus cosine squared x. Uh, y, okay, then we can differentiate a function with respect to x, so diff uh, function with respect to x, so if we do that, it's going to be 2 times sine x times cosine x, okay, uh, we can also differentiate with respect to y, so diff uh, f uh, y, show me the solution in terms of y, um, so that's, uh, uh, this is the solution that we get, okay, so we can always, if if we have multiple variables, we can always solve it for a specific um, variable um, as well. Okay. Um, so uh, in addition to specifying which variable we wish to differentiate uh, with respect to, 
uh, we can specify how many times we, we wish to differentiate. So that is, uh, we can include, uh, is it, you, it's still here, uh, that is, um, we can specify a third number, um, which means that's how many times we're going to do the differentiation, okay? Uh, diff y, we're using the same formula, so now 2, okay? So previously it was uh, negative 2 sine y cosine y, but now it has changed to, um, yeah, it's funny bracket, right? 2 times sine squared y minus cosine squared y. Uh, if you don't, if you're not using the console, then this would have been the output that you would got, okay? So here you can specify a third number uh, to do uh, multiple um, differentiations. You can always look up the help uh, of this um, uh, function as well. Okay, so mixed derivatives. So now uh, we have uh, uh, mixed derivatives. Uh, what we do is we can differentiate with respect to one variable and then differentiate with uh, another. So what it means is we can have a differentiation inside a differentiation function call. So we have the same equation as before, diff of fy is 2 times sine y times cosine y, and then we try to differentiate that with, with respect to x, then there's no um, x variable there, so it's just going to give us zero. Um, but just double check, diff f y, and then do it with x, then of course uh, we'll get zero, okay? Uh, but this way, um, you can try to solve a lot of different ways of um, equations, right? However, I'm not very, uh, I'm quite rusty with these stuff, so don't ask me hard questions, uh, or especially math. Okay. Um, uh, if the result is complex, uh, it may be easier to understand using mathematical formatting, right? Um, so as we've seen before, uh, not necessarily it's always going to give you the, the clear cut, but something like this is probably uh, helpful to understand. So, so we're still inside the uh, SymPy init session console. So what we can do is now um, define more variables. So instead of just x and y, we have uh, another character n. Then we can define the function as such, which is x to the power of n plus y to the power of n. And then we can integrate f with re f respect to a variable x. Okay then it's going to give us uh, a piecewise um, a format. Uh, this saying that we have this big equation for n that doesn't equal negative one, uh, but if it is, then it's a log x, okay? If we are not in the in session, then this line is what you get. And this one uh, could be quite difficult to understand. So in this particular instance, when things get really complex, like piecewise solutions, uh, then this might be uh, easier to understand. Uh, we do have this component here as well. Okay. okay. So basically what we saw so far is um, solving the, uh, creating uh, SymPy equations, doing some basic in, uh, differentiation in integration, as well as solving uh, equations as well. Okay. So how about uh, when we have a definite integrals? So definite integrals can be obtained by specifying the limits uh, of the integral using Python tuple, okay? So we can specify those tuples uh, like here, okay? The tuple should contain the variable to be integrated with respect to, so that was our original input, but now we're specifying also the lower bound and the upper bound. So for example, we want to integrate sine x um, uh, from 1 to 10. So this one, uh, you will have to import uh, function n as well. Okay, and uh, where is the numbers? Okay, so let's go back to symbols x and y and define our function is sine x. Then we can integrate uh, f uh, with uh, with respect to x, but now we're giving a lower bound 1 and upper bound 10, okay? 
So in this instance, uh, we can uh, put the value specifically in. So now we get cosine 1 minus cosine 10. Um, <clears throat> if we want to get a numerical answer, then uh, we can chuck it into uh, uh, the function n. Okay? Then we get a specific value out of it. So if uh, we have cos 1, uh oh, to evaluate, cos 1, okay, we get 0 0.54, and then n cos 10, we get negative 8, uh, 0 0.83, so 0 0.54 minus negative 0 0.83 with, is indeed this one. So if you want um, the answer in numerical value, we will have to convert into n function, this will try to convert it into a numerical value for us. Otherwise, you still get this form. Um, okay, so if we have uh, multiple variables, uh, we could still try to solve this. Um, we can obtain definite integrals even for functions with multiple variables as such. So now we have sine x plus cosine y. So we will define that. Okay, so now we have updated our function. Uh, then we can integrate uh, f with respect to x uh, with the minimum uh, range 1 and up to 10. So when we do this, uh, now we get a, an equation uh, with respect to variable y. Um, but we can't really solve this until we know the value of y, so we can't really pass this into function n. Okay? But we still get some equations, so here you can plug in a bunch of different y values uh, to see what you get. Okay? So... Now we have uh, basic knowledge about how to set up our SymPy uh, and then carry out some uh, basic symbolic um, computation. So the next part we're going to do is uh, to solve uh, equations using our setups here. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.